jeez. Look at them burn. Look at them cook. Hey everybody, welcome back to Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin, and we're back out here for a little stealth in the snow. I'm super excited. This is actually my first ever winter stealth camp. So it's uh, one, for, one for the books. It's gonna be one for the ages, I'm sure. Uh, it's gonna be really cold tonight, dipping into the teens Fahrenheit. So that'll be good. I'm going somewhere where I really, really hope that I can have a fire. But of course, on any stealth camp, you don't really know until you get there. Uh, I'm walking down a stretch here just outside city limits. I'm looking at city that says, welcome to the city of Rochester right ahead of me. So this little industrial area right on city limits should be okay. Should be okay to, to camp near, to camp at, to camp on. We'll see. It's now occurring to me that the path that I was hoping to take has not been broken and I'm going to have to break it now. Well, that's actually a pretty good sign. I see some footprints, but they're not from today. And uh, there's some vehicle tracks or something. It's hard to tell. Might've been a plow. There's like one set of footprints of a human one set of footprints from a dog. Uh, I'm already like really warm, but that'll change. Because I can feel my face, it's really cold. And my body is, uh, well, it's getting colder, but it's really warm. You see how out of breath I am? It's because I haven't really done anything physical since the last episode of Small Plots. Ooh. Got a train going by. These are active lines. I'll be hearing that all night. Oh, jeez. Yep. These prints are going right where I'm going. Right up this way. Oh, it is tough walking through this snow. That's what that looks like. My boot. Maybe a foot, foot and a half. Oh. tracks I followed down here, it looks like they stop, or do they? Let's, let's see. Oh, definitely human. But, it kind of looks like they just went right there. Probably somebody just exploring, because there's just vines. This little clearing right here looks promising. Huh. Hmm. Oh. Man, that was a brutal walk in. I am exhausted already. I guess let's go through here. Oh. Stuck. Stuck. Okay. I don't even see deer footprints out here. Ooh. Almost walked into this. Some nice prickers. Oh, these are all prickers. Holy jeez. And right there, the perfect hammock trees. With a fire right out in front. 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna go get my back, my pat, my back, my backpack, uh, which I left right up there. Come back and kind of try to make my way around this pr giant pricker bramble to right there. That's uh, pretty perfect to me. No hunting stands. I mean, we're right next to uh, the expressway right there. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go do that. Now that I'm in the woods, I'm starting to see more deer tracks. Here's a spot. Looks like the deer is kind of digging up a little bit, maybe to lay down. I don't know. I'm thinking between these two trees, setting up. But I'm gonna take a quick little walk around, see if there's not a better spot to set up. Kind of close to the edge of the clearing over here. I don't know if the camera's picking up on that. There's nothing over there, but uh, power lines and like piles of dirt. I think I'm okay. You see that yellow there, maybe. Just uh, holding up the power lines. I've already tripped twice. Once I fell, once I almost fell. The snow is really deep and there's like branches hidden. <sighs> All right, time to set up camp. I had to set it up quick. You know, usually I set up my camera and then I set up in front of the camera. However, my camera is uh, having some issues staying on because it's so cold. <clears throat> in fact, it might just turn off in the middle of a sentence. Any sentence, doesn't really matter. I'm keeping everything in my pocket against my body and it's still turning off like it, it, it takes about 40 seconds to turn on and then I've already I've already lost uh, a, a full battery basically by turning it on when it was too cold so this should be a fun night trying to film anyway let's see uh, see what we got here it's one of the worst setups I've ever made <laughs> the hammock and tarp are too big for the trees I've chosen so you kind of have the tarp uh, over there, kind of up against everything, going over on that side of the tree. You can see how much is coming down. This tarp's been up for 10 minutes and it's already full of snow. Uh, there's a bunch of branches hanging down there. You can kind of see, whoop, kind of see where I took care of those. And I will use them for firewood because they were just some dead hangings. Uh, huh, so this is great. I uh, finally have everything set up as well as I can anyway. I'm going to get my sleeping pad set up and get my fire going because it is cold. Okay, got the fire starting right next to this, this uh, billboard, this roadside advertisement here. Looking pretty good. Let's see what we got. Yeah. The fire is just outside of the tarp area here. Uh, and I will have my chair right there, loving the fire. And there is gonna just be endless traffic all night, but that's okay. Huh, finally starting to look like camp. Nice. This is that special kind of cold where you're either too cold or just sweating the bejesus out of your coat. This coat right here that I was just wearing uh, is wet on the outside and the inside. I'm sweating through, I have two thermal shirts on. I'm sweating through both of those. I sweat through that coat to the point where this phone that I'm filming on now, which is acting much better in the cold than my GoPro, uh, was in the pocket of that coat and wet from my body sweat because it was facing like the front screen is facing the inside so I'm just like I'm trying to replenish some fluids uh, I have my coat off I'm just wearing this now I'm gonna switch back to that coat I've had it off for a little while I'm gonna switch around switch around yeah got, uh, got the fire going there that's pretty good <sighs> pretty soon we'll be breaking into the beverage center there mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm doing dry January, so I really, I had a couple drinks this past weekend, but this will be basically the first time I've drank, not really, in this month, but, you know, basically. Huh. 
got a new canteen. Girlfriend got that for me for Christmas. So far, I love it. It's fantastic. Uh, holds a little bit more than a liter, which is an improvement over the uh, the liter that I've been bringing out before in the Nalgene. <sighs> Just taking a quick break. It's been nonstop trudging through snow the last two hours, and I I am, I gotta get back some. I gotta get some of my energy back. Whew, snow has not stopped coming down. Camera's not really picking up on it, but it's uh, it's it's moderately snowing. Let's see if I can get like, yeah, the camera's really not picking up too much on that. All right, well, I'm uh, just taking a quick break next to the fire here. I have more wood over there that I'll process up in a little bit. Have some more water from my new canteen. Got a couple other new toys this trip. Pretty excited about that. But whoa, whew. I am. It's a little critter over there, I think. Uh, probably a squirrel, but I am pooped. Good, good lord. I, uh. <clears throat> like you, even coming in here, I was like. Uh, 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 and then trudging through this snow. It's like two and a half feet deep in some places here. So just trying to trudge through all that. Oh, speaking of which, see if I can get that. I did. Find a hunting stand. It, 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 there it is. There it is. Oh, it's weird if you don't see one, to be to be perfectly honest. There's a pretty much any patch of woods, even if it is like 50 feet next to a freeway, there's gonna be people hunting in it around, around these parts. Other than that, super peaceful. The uh, footprints I saw coming in just basically they came all the way in from the trail, all the way up to the exact woods that I was walking into, and then they just stopped, basically. I think I, I, think I got all that on camera. Um, so I'm, I walked further into the woods uh, to have this fire. Oh! Yeah, the critters are out, man. I think that was like a... No, it wasn't a chipmunk. Chipmunks hibernate. Must have been another squirrel. Maybe even a mouse. Little guy. Saw it like go up a tree. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's a mink. Uh, it's about uh, 19 degrees Fahrenheit right now. I think was the last number I saw. Huh, pretty soon we'll have some beers, make some food. Uh, I got a, a new segment I want to do here on Small Plots where I read a couple comments. Uh, I made a post earlier this week of people that uh, wanted to. Uh, you know, have me read a comment on a video. So I'm gonna pick a few. I'm not gonna. I can't read all of them. I don't want this to turn into this like a, like a half hour of me uh, reading and responding to comments. But I thought it'd be a fun thing to do. Oh my gosh, these boots are getting warm. <laughs> uh, uh, oh gosh. Uh, okay, I gotta, I gotta move. I gotta move. Okay. <clears throat> See if my phone can stay propped up in this very precarious position. I wish I could show. The position it's very precarious ah, first drink of the night a nice cool refreshing soda water because i am parched and i love soda water Whew, that's what i was drinking all month instead of beer Ooh, it's already chunky we've been out here for uh, two-ish hours maybe a little bit longer two and a half hours it's already almost totally frozen <laughs> wow ah Ah, it's so cold. Ah, it is, it is thirst quenching though. That's pretty good. Ah. Let's put it with this hand, huh? The glove hand. Let's get a, let's get a close up of this canteen. It's covered in snow right now. Uh, I I, I'm sure you guys have seen this style of canteen before. They're great. Seen Joel Robinette use them, so you know it's uh, it's an, it's an official camping piece of equipment. It's gonna be dark in half hour, forty minutes or so. I need to process more wood. I have wood to process. I've just been so bushed. I'm like running on fumes. I didn't get good sleep last night. The the walk in here killed me. I was just breaking trail all the way here, uh, and then leaving the trail, even though there were footprints, still basically breaking it. Just, just breaking just the, the trail. You, you know how, you know what it's like. There's a big old pile of poop right over there. It's frozen. 
<sighs> it's already almost done. I'm uh, making short work out of it. Making short work of it. Making short, short work out of it. I, I don't want to do anything right now. <laughs> I don't really have to. I kind of plan on just processing the wood as I need it. Take a couple minutes here and there throughout the night. Probably going to be an early night. Uh, but that's okay because I'm in the wilderness, kind of. I'm camping in the, in the winter wonderland. First of the season. Snowy winter camp. Uh, I'm definitely a little bit rusty on the winter camping, uh, but I'm doing, uh, I'm doing okay. You forget little things, like the it's difficult to walk through deep snow. So, stuff like that, you know, and, and, and you, you get sweaty and wet. Ooh, just dry off the sock a little bit. Getting kind of wet in these muck boots. They don't breathe. They keep you super dry from the elements. A little moist from the foot sweat. See that little bit of steam coming off of it? Not really picking up on the camera. Whew, getting a little toasty here. Oh, okay, well that's enough of my foot. Uh, I'll make some food soon. And you know, beer always gives you energy. Well, not always. Beer sometimes gives you energy. Okay, so on this new uh, segment on small plots, I want to kind of make a habit of this. I'm just going to read a few comments, just kind of uh, like, like a connection with you fine people. So in future videos, if you want to see your comment read, well, please leave a comment. And, you know, if you haven't already subscribed, maybe that would, that would just be so lovely, so lovely for you to subscribe. I'm trying to grow the channel. Got lots more of this kind of business, you know? So, uh... And, you know, liking it also helps to grow the channel. I got, I, I got to go fast here because this camera's going to turn off. I got my <laughs> phone here to read some comments, so I got to, I got to move. I got to book it. All right, uh, Brett Hartling uh, asks, "Are you planning on doing any more collaborations with other YouTubers?" <clears throat> uh, Sam Bananas brought me over to your channel. I'm for, forever grateful he did. Well, well, thanks there, Brett. And yes. Definitely uh, more collaborations with YouTubers coming up this year, including Sam Bananas. We haven't set anything in stone, but we're, we're both, we're gonna, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. And may, maybe some, someone else, maybe some other people. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, you know, who knows? Nope. Uncle Dubs asks, uh, what's your favorite? Cold weather stealth camping or warm weather stealth camping? My guess is cold weather, no mosquitoes. You are absolutely right, Uncle Dubs. More specifically, cool weather. Um, I love this out here in the cold, but it is cold. Uh, you know, you need the fire basically to stay alive or some, uh, a, t a ton of layers, uh, especially because I, I sleep in the hammock, not a tent or anything like that, or a hot tent or, or, or wh whatever. So, um, fall, fall's my favorite season. Ooh, big old cardinal just flew by. That was beautiful. Funky Monkey asks, what was your major in college? And what's your zodiac sign? Well, uh, my major in college was commercial art and advertising, which I did not actually get a degree for because going to art school is a waste of money. And now I make a pretty good living doing art, animation to be specific. Uh, and my zodiac sign is a Capricorn. Just had my birthday during the break. Camping with Sam Bananas, my dude, asks, what is your beauty regimen and how do you make black v-necks look so good? Uh, well, first of all, uh, I, black v-necks are just ridiculous. I just wear them for the heck of it. But they, I, I recognize that it's a ridiculous type of shirt to wear. And my beauty regimen is just slathering myself in honey and lying down on the ground for 48 hours or so. Isaiah Johnson asks, uh, do you ever get afraid at night? When you're in, oh hold on hold on there was there's a couple sorry a, a lot of people are super nice and they write really nice things um, about loving the channel and I really love those I'm not gonna read those right now so I'm trying to get to the question part 
uh, have you ever fallen out of or had your hammock break on you? Also, do you ever get afraid at night when you're in some of those places? I've never had my hammock break. Uh, it's gonna happen someday. Um, and I've never fallen out either. I almost did one time. Ooh, I almost feel it got like darker all of a sudden. Maybe I just looked up and realized the snow is just coming down pretty good still. Anyway, I almost fell out one time. And no, I don't really get afraid. I get, uh, especially when I'm stealth, I just, I'm on high alert. Um, I would even call it uneasiness. Um, I, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't say, the only thing that would really make me afraid is if I was alone in the woods, like on a stealth camp, and I saw someone like running towards me with a flashlight or something. I think that would spark fear for sure. Uh, Philip G asks, are you starting to get recognized around Rochester now that the channel has gained some traction? Will you be exploring beyond Rochester eventually to say the Adirondacks, Syracuse, Rome, Utica area? Uh, no, <laughs> I haven't been recognized around Rochester. Uh, and yes, I will be going to the Adirondacks hopefully this summer. Uh, I have some plans to this spring. All right, I'm gonna do one more. I, I'm, just, I'm having so much fun reading these. Okay, let's, let's go two more, let's go two more. We got weed in the bush, my dude. Uh, my question is, do you, did you ever have hair? And if so, we all want to see a picture of that. I did, although I started balding pretty early and I was shaving my head by 25. I'm 36 now. Um, so I've been bald for over a decade at this point. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I had a straight up afro in high school. If I can find a picture of that, I'll, I'll put it, put it up. But uh, yeah, no, I had a ton of hair at one point. Okay, final, final question. Somebody's coming up on me. Now we're good. All right, final question. What is the toilet situation and what happens if you need to drop the kids at the pool? Yeah, I don't know, you just go. That's really it. You dig a hole, and you poop in it. Usually next to a tree. I like to do the uh, uh, lean up against the tree and kind of just uh, I find that that mitigates any potential uh, contamination of my shoes or pants. And it kind of probably looks funny to people watching. So yeah, thanks so much everybody for leaving comments. Uh, leave a comment on this video and I will hopefully read it next video um, and a answer the, the question if you have a question for me. <sighs> Time to drink a beer. <sighs> Today we have Rohrbach Brewing who makes Space Kitty. The store, I was gonna have a Space Kitty tonight but the local bodega didn't have any. Uh, different Animal IPA. I can't remember if I've had this on the channel. I've had it before and I like it. So let's... Uh, <sighs> Get into it. Ooh, very good. <laughs> My hands are so cold now. <laughs> That's pretty good. <coughs> Ooh, that cold in the lungs. Hmm. Well, that is just that is just freaking delightful. I like that a lot. <sighs> well, I don't want to push it too much with this camera. It's probably going to shut off at any moment. Although I am pretty close to the fire, who knows. Okay, time to cook some food. Today, I just have some regular classic beef Oscar Mayer wieners. I'm gonna start with three. And as per usual, you know how I do this. No need for a stick. Oh God, it's falling. Well, okay, can't fix that now. I wanna burn my finger off. Uh, put them right on the coals. Cook them up nicely. There we go. So bam. Look at him go. Look at him burn. Look at him cook. It's, they, they, just, they just cook so fast in the coals and they taste delicious. They're probably good. I'm gonna leave them on for like a little bit longer, but they're basically good to go. Probably takes three or four minutes to cook these guys. A little bit longer for other stuff. If you've been watching the channel, you know I've cooked steak on the coals a few times. Uh, sausages. Uh, I think I cooked a chicken one time. I don't know if I did that on small plots or just in my life. I'm not really sure. Uh, got this sweet new light. Thanks, Ann and Josh. Look at this uh, kind of just barrier of snow that the fires melted out. Looks kind of cool. All right, time to eat some hot dogs. All right, here we go. Get that, get that hot dog numero uno. That's that's not. There we go. A little bit of ash, not too bad. 
That's fine, just fine. If someone were to look in the woods right now, they'd be able to see me with this light. There's a, you can see the lights over there, the expressway. And then over here behind me, you can see those lights. That's from the uh, the path over there. They, they illuminate the path at night. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm quite bright with this bright, bright light. And bright, bright hot dogs. <clears throat> yeah, this is uh, it's about as dark as it's getting tonight. Uh, it's overcast. I'm right next to the city. Not in the city, right next to the city. And of course, that that little what's that? That that little guy right there. Huh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, let's take a little let's take a little walk around here, shall we? Just see what we're working with. Uh, about to finish my first beer, move on to beer number two, now that I've had some hot dogs in my belly. Uh, right now I'm walking towards the expressway over here. Nobody's stopping, everyone's going 70 miles an hour and... What is happening? That looks nice, here, let's turn the light off. Yeah, this is, uh, this is no light. This is just how bright it is out here. Now that I'm not under the tarp, you can kind of see. It's uh, the sunset about an hour or so ago. So it might get like a touch darker, but this, this is kind of it. This is what we're working with tonight, which is interesting, this is cool. One of the things I like about winter camping, the snow reflects the overcast skies, especially right next to the city. There's the lights over there for the uh, walking trail that I came in on. Uh, I'm getting a tiny bit of snow in my hammock here. Uh, nothing to really write home about. Let's see if I can pick any up. Yeah, not really. It's not, not in here right now. Uh, I'm going to have to blow this up again. Oh, yeah, it's already flat. That always happens. You blow it up, and then it gets flatter, and you got to blow it up again because of the, the heat of the breath. Hot breath. Well, just kind of relaxing. It's pretty uneventful. Uh, Enjoyed my hot dogs. I have some snacks. I'm not really hungry though, so I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna eat those. I might save those for next time. Just keeping warm. I'm a little chilly, you know, it's in the teens, but uh, I, I have this outer hard shell jacket on, this Nautica soft shell ja jacket on, and two thermal shirts. Uh, I got these snow pants and a pair. I mean, I should be warm, right? <clears throat> Somehow still a little bit chilly. Uh, it's uh, very tired. I'm kind of just sitting here listening to the sounds of uh, the expressway and kind of turning on a podcast when I remember that I'm listening to it, but I keep pausing it and then forgetting to unpause it just because I'm, I'm listening to it. Oh, look. Well, as I'm filming this, it's got a little text from Sam Bananas. Shout out to Sam Bananas. What's up, buddy? I'll answer your text in a second here. <laughs> yeah, I'm like drinking my beer so slowly. I don't even know if I'm going to keep, I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm going to open another one after this. It's been like three hours. I'm a third of the way into my second beer. I feel like I'm wasting it a little bit, uh, but kind of just trying to stay awake. Oh, jeez. It, it is pretty peaceful back here. There's not really, like a lot of times when I'm at stealth spots, I'm constantly head on a swivel. Here, um, I'm really close to rows. I'm really close to paths. I'm really close to the uh, uh, industrial area over there and, and the train yard and stuff like that, but... Uh, even if one of those people saw me, I don't know how, mu how much they would care. So I'm not like super an edge tonight. Obviously, taking precautions, it's still a stealth camp. I'm still trying to be as stealthy as possible, but it's, uh, I, I don't feel too much danger back here, which is, which is nice. Good, good uh, first stealth camp of 2022, you know, easing in. So we got the fire kind of dwindling down. But what I really wanted to show you guys was how much snow is on top of my 
my tarp here. Uh, what's more, I'm not gonna do anything about it. It's sinking down pretty low, but in a way it's also kind of blocking future snow from coming in because I, I, I did a terrible job hanging this tarp. I could have done a lot more to help, but I was, it was snowing, I was cold. Uh, and this isn't the best area like to set up. You know, these trees are kind of close. The camera's not focusing. There we go. But bed is imminent. There's the billboard. It stopped snowing, which is nice. Yeah, this is just gonna have a hard time focusing. But uh, that's what's going on. Bed's happening soon. I'm pretty tired still. And it's bright. And there's the hunting fort. The hunting stand. I get corrected in the comments. Bed is happening. I'm very tired. I'm probably gonna pass out pretty instantaneously. Uh, so yeah, unless something wild and crazy happens in the night, which it doesn't it seem like it's likely to, but you never know. Oh, uh, well, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll see you in a second. Yeah. Well, that was a terrible sleep. Ugh. My feet were so cold all night, because, yeah, let's see if I can, this hammock hang is so and slouchy. Some bird freaking out. Uh, see, like when you sleep at it at an angle, feet are kind of like almost sticking out of the hammock. So they were pretty chilly all night. Uh, bird freaking out over there about something. Probably me. <sighs> I did sleep. It was okay. The sleep I got was fine. It just was brief and often interrupted. Every, t every time I had to move, which is often. <sighs> Oh God, <laughs> stuff out there. I guess it, it wasn't as under the tarp as I thought. It is under the tarp. Oh God, <laughs> good thing I don't, other than the gloves. I mean, it's okay for all this stuff to get snow on it. And the gloves are fine too, really, there's no problem. All right, well, I better get up and get out of here. It's just starting to get brighter out. So I gotta get out of here. All right, mostly packed up and ready to go here. Got my hammock all cleaned up and all my lines all cleaned up. And all my cans all cleaned up. There are the holes, there are the can holes. Uh, well, it was a pretty fun camp. It was a great one to get kind of back in the swing of things, both filming small plots and winter camping. Uh, definitely have to make some tweaks, like making sure I, uh, you know, find better hammock trees, things like that. Cause that's, uh, my feet are still cold. I can barely feel them. I can't wait to get home and jump in a nice warm shower. Uh, but yeah, I got the fire out here. That's what I love about winter camping too, is you just throw snow on it and pack it down and there's really, really no question. It's a pretty serene and wonderful little small plot. Thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Small Plots with Kevin. I'm Kevin. Don't forget. No, so Small Plots every Tuesday. Yes, even in this this wintry, disastrous weather, we're still doing Small Plots. We're still we're still doing camping. We're still doing other stuff. So stay tuned. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll catch you on that uh, you know, white compacted nextie. Mwah.